Slänger den i högen så kommer du ner med då. Nu! We all stayed in a place called Okur, which was like a gated community where you could rent like apartments and, and I guess a lot of, lot of people from the Hollywood movie business were staying there like actors and uh, such people. It was like a two bedroom apartment. Trying to, to get, have some like live like a normal life. It was uh, like family life but with the dudes. Every morning you wake up, uh, cook some breakfast with the guys, uh, heading down to the gym or the pool uh, before we, we took off. The, the only thing that was bad about the place we stayed at, it was, it was kind of far from the studio, so you couldn't really, you had to drive there. Go down to the studio in a rented car, down on the 101, and then go up on Hollywood Boulevard and and into the studio. The studio is located at Hollywood Boulevard. I mean, we're, we were right in the middle of where stuff is happening. During the recording, we we're always, you know, trying to come up with ideas what, what to call the album. And I think during this recording, the working title was Oakwood. The name of our new album, Oakwood based on where we were staying in Burbank. But I don't think it was until we got back home to Sweden, somebody came up with the Pennebridge Pioneers. Pennebridge is our hometown's name directly translated into English, Örebro. And Pioneers because we are the first band from our hometown to make it outside of Sweden pretty much. We worked a lot with uh, the guitar sound. We had, I think it was four amps running at the same time. I mean, it was probably eight, eight microphones recording guitar sound, uh, you know, at the same time. So it was a lot of stuff, but we mixed everything before it went down on tape. I, like it. I think we brought one guitar each for this recording. I brought my black uh, Stratocaster, uh, the one I used on pretty much all the recordings. And uh, Matthias brought a Gibson, I, I believe. I also bought uh, a white Stratocaster during the recording. New guitar, huh? Oh yeah. And Brett brought in a couple of guitars, like a really, really expensive Telecaster called I think it's called a no-caster, before they even named it Telecaster or something. Uh, we used that a lot on especially like the non-distorted parts. It sounded really good with like the crunch sound. He also brought his famous uh, Red Rocker, uh, the guitar he uses a lot with uh, Bad Religion. It's like a red guitar, I can't, I can't remember which uh, brand it is but it sounds really, really good with a more powerful, distorted sounds. Yes. Good. We got it. Good. It starts with the chorus. Huh? It starts with the chorus, the song. No. It was uh, a little bit more rock oriented. I had started to listen to a lot more rock and roll. <laughs> I mean, more like garage rock and stuff like that. A rock song, yeah. I think that song happened because we were hanging out with the peep shows and that's where I took the title from. It was sort of like a homage or, or a hello, hello to those guys. I guess Nicola had this, this song too acoustically and we made it more rockish in, in the rehearsal room. It's a short and, and a good song that fits very good on the album where it is. It's a good song playing live too. <laughs> 